Hi everyone, Mike Kahn here. Uh, I want to do uh, kind of an introductory video for the drawing class. This is the online drawing class, uh, which is run through Wabash Valley College or Illinois Eastern Community Colleges. This is for spring 2018, but this video may be used in future courses as well. In front of you, you should see a drawing. And this is a drawing by uh, perhaps one of the most famous artists of all time, Leonardo da Vinci. Leonardo da Vinci is a high Renaissance artist um, from um, Florence and from uh, the Veneto region and from, um, uh, also worked in Rome and in Milan. Um, but primarily, uh, Leonardo da Vinci is known for his paintings and a little less for his drawings. And uh, what's interesting about this particular drawing is we can see the process. And I like that. I like that we can see the process. Notice how part of the drawing is finished and part of it is unfinished. That's what I mean by process. And when you see a drawing that is process, especially from a master drawer, which Leonardo da Vinci was a master drawer, you can see how the, the drawing was built. So you're kind of seeing, uh, you know, like a set of directions or a methodology, if you will. And one thing about Renaissance drawings that I find fascinating is, uh, number one, the uh, just beauty of the drawings. If we take time to look at this beauty, the composition of, of this drawing is very engaging. But the other thing that's wonderful about these drawings is the value range that you get that is built up through cross hatching. So if you look, you can see where there's shadow behind the hair, how some of the lines are darker and thicker than others, and some of the lines are very light. And in that way, we'll say that this drawing has value range or has variation in the line itself. Um, I would say that Leonardo uh, focused on line and less on um, uh, like building up shading because the shading itself is built up through lines. What I mean by that is if you look at the shading, how it's built up is with these cross hatches, with these repeated lines and Leonardo was left-handed and you can see the method, you know, he's taking up some sort of writing, you, you, you tensile, it wouldn't have been a pencil, like a graphic pencil, like we know, it's probably more of a piece of charcoal and sharpened. And then on this, this paper, which has uh, yellowed over the, the ages. So um, we can see the delicate, nature of some of the lines and how certain areas were left open. There's a little bit of space to this drawing. So here we get, have a great example of a master uh, artist, you know, utilizing line to build up value, to build, to build up shape, and to compose a very beautiful drawing. Uh, a, a thing to note in terms of history, you know, this is from the early 1500s and at this time, these drawings were not considered as the same level as the paintings. They were often preparatory works for a painting. So an artist like Leonardo would practice, create a drawing, and then use that as a basis to um, compose or think or work through problems that would lead up to a painting. And the method of painting sometimes would be very much like a drawing where they would use small brushes and build up lines and then fill in and then use multiple washes to go over top. Anyway, in this class, we're going to learn about some of these various techniques and think about drawing in terms of line and shape and color and form and utilize some of the uh, past, um, some of the drawings from the past as an example of of how to move forward. Um, as with all the online classes at IECCC, uh, if you want to contact me, you'll have to contact me through uh, email, conm at iecc.edu. I'm getting a little bit of glare reflection here. It's kind of burning my eyes. So I'm, I'm gonna stop the, the, this video and probably start 
another one. Uh, but uh, welcome to the class, and uh, I hope that you have a good semester and uh, follow along in the modules. And uh, as with anything, just email me if you have any questions. Thank you.